we're back at the campground when we first moved here. The campground. We're at this. Guess awesome why we're here. Campground. Yesterday, I got a text from Linda at the campground. And the campground that we stayed at when we were looking for our property, Linda, the owner, Linda and Colin, she texted me yesterday and she said, you know what, we had to cut down a bunch of trees for the season and you are welcome to them. So, here we are. In my glory. I was just saying to Colin that I am sentimental and I really like the idea of using wood from the campground where our journey started here in Virginia to complete one of the buildings. So the siding for the shed is going to be wood from the campground, which is pretty awesome. Right, John? With the board and batten? Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, that might be Virginia pine. I'm not sure. This is cherry. I can't believe we got some cherry here. That's beautiful. A little twisty one here with some English ivy on it. And what else? There's some, a whole bunch of pine down here. Ah, oh, I'm in my glory right now. Look at this piece. Wow, that's fantastic. All right, I better get to work. That is really good. I miss it here. This is a beautiful, beautiful campground. This is Riverside Campground in Abingdon, Virginia. Girls made themselves right back at home here. They really enjoyed their time here. We were here from June to October, the end of October last year. So we got a trailer. John found a good excuse to get one. Thanks to Linda and Colin at the campground, we had to get these uh, logs back somehow. Now we're getting them off the trailer and up to the mill. I bought a tandem axle trailer. Couldn't pass it up. Why did you get tandem? Why did I get tandem? Because it can hold a lot more weight. So my truck is good to tow maybe 9,000 pounds or so. It's a, it's a Ram with a 5.7 Hemi. And I have a brake controller on it because I put that on there for the travel trailer. But now I got this tandem axle that means two axles trailer. You get utility trailers like from the big box stores and it usually has one axle and you can, I don't know, maybe a ton, maybe, maybe. Like probably safe, like 1,500 pounds. This can, um, this is rated at gross vehicle weight, which means all together, the weight of the trailer and what it can hold. Those axles can support 7,500 pounds. So the guy did his calculations. He said this can hold 5,550 pounds, which is pretty impressive. So that's why I got this tandem axle trailer. I can haul big logs like this. So I went kind of light on it, but see, that's a 17 inch log. I cut it at 12 feet long. I don't know guys, I guess I'm a, I guess I'm a logger or not a logger. I guess I'm a miller now. Is that cracked, Mac? It is. Okay, well, that's okay. 
Uh, it doesn't look like it's cracked all the way through. Now, believe it or not, this is pine. It doesn't look like pine, and I don't know what kind of pine it is. Please tell me if you know, but it's weird because we've cut so many different pine trees on this property alone. They all smell different. They have different sap. The boards look a little different. Um, also, I got this spare tire with the trailer, so that was like an added cost of $99, but... We spent 2200 bucks on a brand new trailer. It's 12 feet long. I didn't want 16 feet. This just kind of excessive. I really wanted stuff that I could that I could pull about two pallets worth of stuff. And I was really impressed because the shorter length offered me more towing capacity, if that makes sense. So anyway, I could fit a 16 foot log on here, have a little bit hang off and just put a flag at the end of it. Um, I didn't think a 16-foot trailer would be necessary. It'd be that much harder to store. Meg, did I do good? Uh-huh. And it also comes with... Yeah, I got it in... Uh, where did I get it from? Roburn? Roburn, Virginia? I think that's what it's called. Anyway, these guys, awesome. Highly recommend. Coburn! Sorry, I called it Roburn. It's Coburn, Virginia. So... Look at this. That's a 13-foot tree. Log. Yeah. 17 inches across. That is a beast. That's got to be 700 pounds. Easy. You got a 400 pound attachment. This, what, what is it? 400, what did I say? 700 pounds? That's 1100 pounds. Right That's good, John. That's a lot of weight. Do you want me to get the ladder? Why, you want this on right now? I'd rather do that one first. Okay. Do you want me to get the ladder? I'm not even revved up here. Like that's just... That's good. new plan with the log hanging off and the bark is well it's rough we got an extension ladder that we've been meaning to pick up from my mom's house and if we think if we could put the log on the ladder then we can slide the thing around nicely on the deck we hope I might put some paraffin rack wax on, on here so it slides even better we'll see we'll see done with doing all these long milled pieces of wood yeah, this is for the rafter no, ties. This is actually 13 feet. So, okay. Here's Why are we doing this? I thought we were done with all of them. Guys, when I cut that walnut, I just, we have to use it for something better than our sheds rafters. We have to. That wood is too pretty, too perfect, too awesome. We bought this property, there's a log laying in the woods with moss growing on top of it. It's been there for like five years. It looks like you should just chop it up or, you know what, push it into a fire pit. We cut that thing open and it was like, ah, awesome. So we're gonna use that thing. You know what we're gonna do with it? We're gonna build our dining room table for the new house out of wood that was sitting on this land. That we milled and we will, that'll be like our final project for the house. That would be cool.
solid walnut table, two inches thick by six feet long, six and a half feet long, something like that. Well, it could be 12 feet long. Well, I it could, it but we, we have six pieces. So I was thinking if you cut them in half, six feet long, I don't mm -hmm. know, we'll figure all that out. But man, that stuff is just so pretty. I'm not putting it as rafters in the, in the shed. A little extra time, we'll cut up some pine. Plus I told Colin, the guy that gave us all this wood for nothing, um, I told Colin these are going to be our rafters. He was thrilled. And so am I. This is great wood too. And it'll match the other rafters too. It won't look weird. So anyway, a couple extra hours of work and we will be happy in many ways. Oh. So all of you that thought, wow, they should really do something nice with that walnut. We're going to. We're going to. This is on Amazon for like $6. This is one of my favorite things about my tractor. I clamped it on the steering wheel. It's an old school spinner Rooney. You know, official name. When you had four at the floor. Yeah, this is a wheel spinner. And wow, it's fantastic. Because if I'm like over here, I could just go like that. I don't have to worry about gripping it or losing my grip or like wearing out my knuckles because it's like on the steering wheel grinding away. This thing is great. I use it so much that. When I'm driving my truck around town, I look for it on my truck. It's we should put there. one on your truck. We should put one on my truck. But then I'm going to be like tearing up the turns on the, on the <laughs> roads around here. Mm -mm, not a good idea. All right, let's go get the rest of these logs. All right, so I put it in this time in the week. This week's video, I put the spinner Rooney in. So in case you were wondering, I make all the videos. John writes the descriptions. John does most of the comments, unless they're directly to me, because some of them get kind of technical. But uh, yeah, a little background info. Video editing, getting faster at it. I hope you guys enjoy. That's it, that's it, that's it. I have hit that thing for the last time. Tired of you, tree. Ugh. All right, so for those of you who have been following, I went into like a whole, you know, the importance of this thing, right? Well, I always have it down. Well, I am more. I've gotten kind of strict on myself and Meg yells at me too. I've gotten strict on myself, but the reason I put it down to begin with is because when I bring this thing into the barn, it hits that. It's like a couple inches shy. So all we got is this. And then if I drive in a little bit more, let's see, there's a different tree thing going this way. And there's one other one now. Here, it attaches right here. It goes over there. It's just leaning on that beam. All I got to do is remove this and well this is just a piece of wood hanging up there so i just got to remove the stuff on top and the cross beams and then i'll be able to drive in see it just barely grazes this here i don't want to move this oh that's cool just take the bark off that that look cool that's an old poplar tree but anyway it could fit under here see i i don't want to change the history of this place. I don't want to come in here and really touch anything. Someone put those poles there across and I think it's cool historically what they are, but that's a minor thing. I'm not going to change all this stuff or any of the ceiling. Like look how cool this place is. Look, there's an old ladder here that goes up. See, I just put a nail up in there in the in the beam to hang up my used blades ready to be sharpened but i mean look at this place look how cool it is so this was an old tobacco barn 
and they have a bunch of here I put my wood in here that I mill so here's all my these are all two by sixes. This is the walnut that we're gonna save. We got some 12 footers there. We got, these are 12 foot two by sixes and various other pieces. But aside from that pretty sight, look at this. I mean, how cool is this place? Isn't that neat? Can you imagine the manpower to build this thing? Or woman power, right? in there now. Let's see. When it cuts the wood, the blade is spinning this way. And what's supposed to do, Claire, it shoots all the dust through those holes. And That's why it falls out that side. Yeah, but if the hole is blocked, what's going to happen? It's going to be all dusty inside. Uh -huh. So make sure all that's clear. I you could use the broom, honey. I can't fit it. Well, just knock it around. There you go. Just get it in there. I don't want to break the sawmill, though. You're not going to break the sawmill, honey. Yeah, clean that off with the brush. That guides the, the blade. There you go. You could be rough with it, it's okay. There, good. It's like brushing teeth, right, Clara? Yeah, <laughs> I'm brushing the sun else. Yep. What does this do, Daddy? What? Right here, what I'm brushing. Those are the blade guides. When the blade spins by, it goes through this really small groove right here, mm -hmm. and it keeps everything nice and straight. Yeah, that can get loose too. You got to check it once in a while. All right, Clara and I are replacing the blade. Um, she's just learning about the mechanics of the sawmill here. on the ladder so I got a cheap well not cheap so I got a just a old aluminum ladder you I took half of it apart there's the other half but I put that on the deck put the log on the ladder the ladder's nice and flat I can slide it across the cross sections of the mill and just like that now I'm gonna be able to cut longer logs it's a bit of a pain in the neck with the shorter rails but I'll get there one day you know, let me get there. Is 
Is that cracked, Mac? It is. Okay, well, that's okay. Uh, it doesn't look like it's cracked all the way through. Now, believe it or not, this is pine. So, in case you didn't catch it in the time lapse there, we spent all that time cutting those to get our last two two by sixes, and it snapped in half. We saw that there was there was a split in the log. We didn't think it went all the way through, but clearly it did. So now we're gonna cut them again. Right, John? John, John's thrilled. Doesn't always go as smoothly as you hope. Actually, most of the time it doesn't. <laughs> you know, maybe it's the well water or something, but I'm okay with it. Eh. It's all right, at least we got the great uh, footage to show you guys how to do the milling a longer log with the ladder. Okay, put it on there another Now we'll do it again. Let's see what the girls are doing. They just finished school. Believe it or not, they got up early, finished school at 10 o'clock. All right, it's coming out of my six inch pipe there pretty good. Coming on down. We're gonna improve all this, but here's one piece that we feel like we got right. And it's not even flowing that fast right now, but there's one of the falls. I'm gonna put another one up there, have it change the direction, have it fall down, come down here, fall down, and then maybe we could do one more. Hey, what do you got there, Autumn? I got a worm. A worm? We made a worm island. Whoa, come, cool. Come see. Yeah, I caught Carmen eating one of those. Come see, Daddy. Speaking of Carmen, I see, oh, there's Carmen, okay. All right, guys, show us what's going on. Have you guys been playing around in the new creek? Yeah. Carmen's digging up the mold. Daddy, Carmen's worm digging up the mold. Worm Island, that's pretty sad. How are they supposed to get out of there? I put a rock right here and then they can just go up to the dirt. They, that guy needs a bridge this way. Oh no! Worm Island, huh? Let's help it. Yeah, help him out. Make sure he can get across this way. He's a little cute guy. Well, I got pretty awesome girls. You know that, girls? Uh-huh. You getting your fingers wet, Clara? Yeah, I don't care. You don't care? Did you know that wong, they actually grow babies? Uh-huh, they do. A we learned the other day that they do have a heart, don't they? Yes, they do. And a brain. Oh, coming out. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant, a brain. Okay, cool, Claire. You got a little bridge for him? No. We're falling in the water, Claire. Help it. Yep. It's falling. All right, well, my kids play with worms. Okay guys, I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, yesterday made a second trip to the campground and we got this nice piece of oak. It's a little over 12 feet long. This is a piece of cherry we might do something cool with, decorative. Another piece of cherry, that's a big piece of oak and this is an oak too. We got a lot of weight on that trailer. Those oak logs are, are very heavy, so. I'm gonna try to unload this thing with the tractor by using the chain and the fork uh, chain hook there. And uh, then I'm gonna, I don't know where I'm gonna stack them. It rained again, so it's all kind of muddy up in this area. I don't wanna drive up to the mill with them yet. But there's Maddie getting in the way of trouble. Right, Maddie? I don't know why, Maddie always seems to detect when I'm about to do something dangerous with the tractor and she kinda, <laughs> maybe she's like the, Maybe she's my inspector trying to make sure I'm doing it safe. She's just looking out, right Maddie? Yeah, good girl.
happen. Come on, come on. Wake up. Here, how about like that? That work? That work better. Sweet, huh?